This is Eric Mwade with Mwade.com for the week of August the 6th, 2012. Let's take a look at the markets here. Uh, we see that the NASDAQ managed to stay above the 10-week moving average, which is positive for the market on a weekly chart. Uh, you can't um, ask for a market to be more stable than that. That's good. On a weekly chart, it seems like the market is stable. If you take a look at it from a daily chart, then you start seeing a little bit of uh, cracks in the market formation. You know, generally you can say that the confusion, the big up days and big down days is based on the fact that markets been trading in this narrowing range. Now, it might seem that we are out of this range here um, with this move, a 2% move, but uh, that's on the daily price action. If you take a look at the RSI action, you see that the market has been stalling in this general area here which means that really we haven't seen any breakout as far as the sentiment is concerned. So uh, despite the price trying to move out of a range, sentiment still remains within resistance. If you take a look at the Dow again from a weekly chart, you see that the 10-week moving average is pointing higher. So is the 33-week moving average pointing higher. So that's a stable market that wants to move higher. In this type of scenario, you, you still want to play quality breakouts in leadership um, sectors. So the weekly, again, on the Dow looks solid. Now, if you start looking at it from a daily chart, you'll see that the market is still trading in this upward channel here. We've been trading in this range oh, since about June. So in that range there, so there's no really breakout. What looks good is the fact that now we have a 50-day moving average pointing higher and the 200 is two pointing higher. So net net on a medium term, the market seems positive. What you'd like to see is a market breakout about this RSI resistance that has held the market in check every time it tried to move higher. So we are still at those levels. We haven't seen a breakout here. My conclusion is the market needs to prove itself before it can move higher. If you take a look at the Dow from a monthly perspective, from an hourly perspective, you'll see that we are trading in this we've been finding resistance every time we hit this line here and that's where we hit the highs there pull back before the close con being confirmed by the resistance on the RSI at that level here this has been an area of resistance so we see that the market is trading on the higher side of its range uh, suggesting more than likely the next move might be to the downside as you can see the market's been making a short-term high here but the technicals have not followed through. That suggests a market that on an hour to hour basis might be looking to pull back fast and foremost. Otherwise, the only way to correct that is with a powerful breakout on the 30 minute charts here. That breakout would be a reason to suggest that the market wants to move high. Otherwise, now we see resistance levels. If we take a look at the S&P 500 from an hourly chart, you see that it's been making higher highs on this double line here, top lines. And you see most recently we had a high there that was not corresponding. There was no corresponding higher high on the RSI. That negative divergence could lead to, to a market pullback on an hour to hour basis. Let's look at, take a look at some world markets. You see the Brazilian market finally managed to get out of this funk. Moving higher here over the last couple of days still way below the 200 day moving average so net net is still negative you see that the RSI has yet to break out above this resistance level here just like in the US market so this 3% move in the Brazilian market net net is suspect if you take a look at the French market you see that if you take the highs over the last year or so you see that we are now trading it precisely at that what could be a breakout or resistance level. I think it's a resistance level based on the fact that we've been unable to move above this RSI level here going back to about actually going back to the March of this year. So we haven't moved above that level on the RSI so there's no breakout on the RSI which suggests to me that this is just the top end of a trading range. The next move might be to see the market move lower. If you take a look at the French market from a weekly chart, you see that there's an established resistance line here on a weekly. And this could be trouble. We need to see this to break out. Otherwise, this 
is going to be confirmed resistance on the short uh, short term you take a look at the rsi take this high and that high draw a straight line you see that the green line here is where you'd find resistance on the sentiment as far as the rsi is concerned the fact that we've had a big move towards this this price surge quick move towards this level here could suggest the next short term move is to the downside the, again the german market here you see that we are trading on the underside of this line here we haven't moved above this line ever since we broke down here we've bumped off this line multiple occasions and now we are trading at this level normally when you see that you get this pullback that comes next and I have an example for you uh, that you know that this underside could be resistance is we take a look at what happened for crude oil on a weekly chart for crude oil you'll notice that sometime in the beginning of this year we had moved below this this line here we moved below this line here and could not move above this level here this the last time we hit this level was about 110 in crude oil and we finally gave back all those gains and went as low as $80 so the underside of what was support could be resistance so if I bring back that chart here so what I'm saying is this this area here as far as the German market is concerned this underside of this line could turn out to be resistance also that corresponds with the resistance on this level here on the RSI which has been short-term resistance going back a couple of months so we need to see a breakout otherwise this is just nothing but a trap in this uh, German market setup uh, if you take a look at the German market from a monthly chart you see that the RSI take that high that high you see that we are trading at this RSI what has been an area of resistance uh, what I like about this is the fact that now we have an upward crossover between the 10 week moving average and the 33 week moving average that's short term bullish the last time we had that kind of a crossover was here and we had a multi-month rally before that the last crossover on the bullish side was a crossover here it was July of 2009 and we saw the market move of almost one and a half years to the upside so this crossover between the 10 week moving average and the 33 week moving average something we need to keep an eye on because if that stays the formation you'd expect that this market continues moving higher over time so the weekly charts are showing both RSI potential resistance levels here yet we see that this could be the early sign of a crossover with a move higher in the coming months kinda confusing but that's the setup market is always confusing the uh, London market the FTSE you see that the RSI has yet to break out here so there's resistance on the RSI we haven't seen a breakout until we break out uh, all movements here are gonna be looked at with some level of suspicion uh, even though we see that there's some kind of breakout short term here broke out of this range about 57,000 here 5700 broke out there so this 2% rally could be the beginning of something uh, we'll see what happens but we need to see the RSI confirm this with a sentiment breakout otherwise this is just another fake market move uh, the London market again I want to point out to you two conflicting factors here we see that the RSI is trying to cross over which would be bullish I mean the uh, moving up averages the 10 week moving average and the 33 week moving average could cross over here that could be short term bullish and lead this market to at least challenge the highs here or we could find confirmed resistance because the RSI is back at a resistance level there so we'll, I, we're gonna know here in the coming week in the next week or so whether that's gonna be resistance area or a, or a beginning of a crossover and a good rally the last crossover again here uh, so the market move higher for a couple of for a couple of weeks and the, prior to that the bullish crossover was here in, in uh, July and we saw the market have a multi-month rally so again we are looking at a potential crossover there suggesting that month to month the market might be wanting to push higher let's take a look at the QQQ again we see that breaking out of a range here 
if you look at it from the, the price action, seems to be breaking out of that range there, which is good. Of course, it's been trading in this range here. So a nice breakout short term. Problem is on the RSI, you see that we have resistance here. So we have not broken out on the RSI. We need it to really show us confirmation by breaking out. Otherwise, this could be another trap in the market. If you take a look at the NASDAQ 100 on the monthly chart, uh, we seem to be bouncing off these lows here. And this is a 13-year monthly chart. We've been finding support on the downside here. And so we are trying to break out or move out of this range here. Also, RSI could either be forming support here but if this doesn't work out we could have a break of this area which could lead to a disastrous move in the market the banking index again still trading within a range a, gen a generic range being in this triangle here we haven't really broken out we are still trading in this range again RSI showing multiple levels of resistance until we can break out here all movements to the upside are gonna be suspect the IYR, if you take a look at the daily chart, you see that we've been trying to make this breakout here. Hasn't taken place. Um, so until we can break out of this range, this is just, uh, to me, could be a trap. If you take a look at the IYR from a weekly chart, you'll see that the real estate ETF is, again, we've been making higher highs here in price on a weekly chart, yet you see that the RSI has not been following through so this negative divergence could lead to a sh long term sell off again we need a breakout on the RSI we need the RSI to break out to confirm that this actually could be a strong move down the road for now all we can say is that it's back at resistance level we don't know what happens next if it can't move above that then that's a fake move uh, the DRN which is three times the e the real estate market a bull ETF needs to uh, break out above 79.884 which is this highest weekly close here going back to middle of last year uh, so right now we seem to be finding resistance in this level here we haven't broken out we'll see what happens again you see that the RSI is showing this could be an area of resistance unless it can break out the CRB index what I want to point out here is that it's been struggling to stay above this line here, which also happens to be an area where we have the 200 day moving average. So, again, upside resistance uh, seen all over the place. Gold is closer to a 52 week low. The, you know, the high is here at about 1875 and it's trading at about 1600 really gold is closer to surprisingly closer to a 52 week low as opposed to a 52 week high so you know gold is still trading in a range we don't know which way it wants to go but hard to tell just be, given the fact that it's trading uh, closer to its 50 day moving average and below uh, below its 150 day moving average so we'll see where good gold goes for now to me it's very inconclusive if you take a look at the dollar, the dollar reversed here after this sharp move and back. Uh, seems to me that this RSI level here could be a support area. But again, it's still trading closer to its 50-day moving average. We'll see. Uh, I think the dollar generally, I would say, trading closer to its 50-day moving average, slightly below, but above its 150 day moving average and above the 200 day moving average so net net the dollar to me seems like it could be just forming a nice base even though you can also argue that we seem to be a fail to break out here and the next move on the dollar is down which might make sense because if you take a look at the dollar chart we are now trading below this 81.83 level so the weekly chart could be suggesting that the dollar could have seen the highs for short term also notice that this double top on the RSI on a weekly does not help the dollar chart so the dollar unless it can break out on a weekly chart here above this level here maybe the dollar pulls back a little bit more which might suggest gold could be uh, moving high if you take a look at the BTK the BTK the biotech index um, 
what I can see here is adding on to the fact that I think the market pulls back short term just because you see that I failed to break out here. Uh, it has tried twice on a weekly chart to break out above this level here and failed. You see that the RSI's have been finding resistance here on multiple occasions going back to uh, February, March of this year. Resistance there galore. Also notice that the the trend line was broken here. You take that this pri price levels and draw a straight line. We broke down as far as price was concerned here. So you know to me the biotech index is one of the leadership sectors but it seems to be breaking down. We'll see how it, how it goes. Um, also you see the, the airline index which tends to be a leading leading the market. Uh, airline index to me on a, on a monthly chart what I'm watching here on a monthly chart is that MACDs could break down here. Uh, MACD, main MACD could break down and push this market low. Uh, otherwise, I think it's a kind of market environment where you want to stay long if you're long with your stops. Play quality breakouts. Otherwise, more than likely the market is probably in a range. It's lots of conflicting information as always, but trading in a range. Uh, short term, I see a pullback on a day to day basis, but week to week, the market does seem healthy enough to play quality breakouts. This is Eric Muada with Muada.com. Uh, be careful out there. Good luck, uh, peace, and blessings.